Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is part three of the Pink Punk Squire Strat Rebuild Project. Today, I'm gonna to be replacing the nut with a Graftech XL nut and restring the guitar to test it for playability. So keep watching, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of future videos and keep updated on the project. All right, let's get started. All right, so today I'll be using this Tusk XL lubricated nut. It's manufactured by Graftech. It's a company out of Canada, made in Canada, as you can see. I've heard a lot of good things about this product, so I thought I'd give it a try on the Squire Strat. Um, this isn't by any means an endorsement or getting paid or anything to use this product. Uh, just simply heard good reviews from a number of people, uh, so I figured I'd give it a try. So this product is permanently lubricated and it will relieve a lot of the uh, string binding and relieve a lot of the tuning issues that you can see on a lot of guitars. Right, so this particular product, it says it's uh, permanently lubricated and it increases harmonic content and richness and it will also increase tuning stability. Um, big problem with a lot of Stratocasters is when the string binds in between the nut slots and you either lose tuning or you get some pinching and the guitar just doesn't perform as it should. So that means it's time to get the Strat over on the bench and let's start changing the nut. So first thing I'll do is I'm gonna take the sharp edge of the pencil lead and mark the edge of the fingerboard against the edge of the original nut so that I know approximately how deep to set the new one. Then I'll give the old nut a little tap here to loosen it up. Clean out the slot a little bit here so the new fresh one will slide in easily. So if I line up the two nuts together you can see the slots are lined up really good, real close to each other. The new one is on the top, the original one is on the bottom as you can see. So spacing is going to work out just fine. And so I also traced the edges of the original nut and transposed it onto the new one here. So we're gonna shave off these edges a little bit so it fits the radius a little better. All right, so I got the new nut shaped up pretty good here. Let's give it a little test fit. So it looks like it fits in there really nice. Um, it's not very snug yet though, it's pretty loose. I can move it. So I think I'm just gonna string it up. It looks like it's gonna be probably a little bit low, so I may need to shim it up slightly, but I won't know until I put some strings on. All right, so let's put some strings on and see how it feels. Looks like all the tuning pegs work okay. There's a little bit of play in the gear. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I think I'm gonna get some locking tuners, try to change these out, something with uh, some better quality. I think tuning may become an issue since these tuners are cheaper grade quality. All right, quick sound check here. Got the new Graftech nut installed. Put some fresh strings on. No amp right now, it's late at night. I can't crank out, wake up the family. So we'll just see how she sounds after just stringing it up. <laughs> 